Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem labyrinth taken from CSTS graph algorithm section, right? And the problem statement is you are given a grid of size n cross m. Each grid can either contain a wall or a floor or A or B where A represents your starting point or source, B represents your ending point or your destination. So you have to print not just to find, you have to print the shortest path from A to B. It is guaranteed that there is only one A and only one B. So you can see here in this example, uh, dots represents your walls. Sorry, dot represents your floor. Hash represents your walls and A and B of course represents source and destination. So for example, in this test case, you can go to left and then right, oh, sorry, left, down, down, right, 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 up. Okay, this is the shortest path. There's also one more path with this but that is not the shortest so we not just have to find the shortest path we also have to print the path from a to b and the the allowed direction you can move from cell uh, cell to either upper down left or right cell okay from a cell you can either move to up down left or right so this is a problem statement so here you are sites bfs and bfs on 2d grid i have i have lectures on both of them and also with practice problems so you have a better idea how you can solve problems like these so i highly recommend if you have no idea go ahead and learn bfs that is breadth search and bfs on 2d grid okay because we are going to implement this bfs on 2d grid so go ahead and learn that and then we, we can continue link of these lecture i'll be providing in the description of the video so don't worry about that now, how we solve this problem? Of course, there's the input. We'll use a direction array uh, to store the direction from source to destination. Okay, this will help you uh, build the uh, overall path from source to destination. This will basically help you print it. And we, of course, have to use the queue. So the basic queue, uh, DFS, BFS stuff. Uh, this is the source. Okay, so enter the coordinates of the source in the queue and mark it visited. Pink color will represent visited. So there are two nodes, or uh, current node, of course, uh, bring out it from Q and then from cell to one, you can move here or here. So enter both of them into the Q and mark both of them as visited. Now, when you are entering some certain cells, which can be visited from the current cell using BFS, right? So uh, while inserting them into the queue, you, also, you need to also enter their direction. For example, when you are inserting this node into the queue, this cell into the queue, uh, also save here its direction. So you are moving towards right, right? This is the node which is finding these two. And from here, you would move here if you make a right call, right? If you move towards right. So at this point, at 2, 2, when you are inserting 2, 2, at 2, 2, you will say right. And at 3, 1, you will say down. So wherever you are inserting new nodes, new cells in the, into the queue, you also need to mark their direction, right? In which direction you'll be moving. So if I show you the same with the code here, you see. So if, if, if I'm moving left, that means A, B minus 1, A represents X, Y represents, I mean, B represents Y, I mean, uh, X axis and Y axis. So if you are moving left, so BR is the direction array. So A, B minus 1, the cell with A, B minus 1 coordinate will be saving L. If you are moving right, it will save right. If you are moving up, it will save up. If you are moving down, it will save D, right? And after that, you are inserting the coordinates into the queue, the same thing that we are doing here. And of course, you will mark them visited, right? Visited array. So this is the basic BFS stuff. I have already explained all of this. So you, this should be able to, uh, you will be able to understand that. So we have done that. Now there are no more uh, nodes. You can, there are no more, cell, uh, no more cells you can add using A. So we'll move on to the next cell, which was 2, 2. That is front of Q. Now from 2, 2, this one, you can add this and this. So suppose you added this one, this node, right? That is 2, 3. And you also mark is direction but 2 3 is equals to b your destination so you don't have to go ahead as soon as you find the destination your bfs will stop so if i show you that uh you you bring out a and b that is a, a front of the queue right the coordinates basically a and b represent the current node current cell okay if the current cell itself is equals to b you simply stop here you prepare the direction array and return true bfs function will return true okay true returns i mean uh, true means that there is a path from a to b false means there is no path so if bfs function returns true you will print yes and the size of the overall direction and then you will print the path okay if it returns false that means there is no path from source to destination in that case you will print no right 
I mean, uh, fair enough. So here you see, as soon as you find B, you'll simply stop here. As soon as you find B, you simply stop. You are preparing the direction array because from the direction array, see here, you are printing the overall direction, right? Because you have to print all of this, right? This L, D, D, you have to print all of that. So as soon as we find B, we are preparing the path array, which is here, vector of character. And after preparing that, we are returning true otherwise if we have run through all of the bfs and we still haven't find b that means there is no way you can reach b from a so finally we are returning false from bfs function so this should be understandable to you so the question is how i'm preparing the path array right for that as you can see i'm using br array which is basically to store the direction right this array okay br represents this so so once you have found this how you will prepare your path array that is the question so to do that create an empty path array vector right create an array, uh, array or vector whatever you you are comfortable with so i'm creating a vector after that what you'll do you'll start from your destination that is two three coordinate right two three your b right starting from here basically a b represents your a b represents the coordinate of of your destination right so what you'll do wherever you are just uh put the direction of that in the direction array so r was that i have inserted here so if the last element that you inserted is actually right so uh, where you should move you should move towards the left if it was right you would move towards the left why because that is the cell from where you reached here that's why it is saving r right so from here you have to move left that means decrement your y uh y what we say y coordinate right so from two three it will become two two so here you see in the path array you are inserting the current direction after that if the last added direction was left so increment b that means your y coordinate basically column if the last inserted element what was right decrement y if it was up increment a if it was down decrement a all of this is understandable right if if you still have any doubt you can clearly ask in the comment section right i'll explain that so uh since we moved here what di direction does it have it have right so right again will be inserted here after that since it was right so again subtract one from b so b would become one so now you are at two one as soon as you reach two one that was your source right your source coordinates xy was storing your source coordinate and from main function you are making a bfs call to xy which is the direction of your source coordinate basically now you are at this point as soon as you are here you can stop right as soon as your a becomes x b becomes y simply stop x and y remind you stores the x and y coordinate of your source you can simply break and return true right as simple as that after you have prepared the this direction array or vector whatever you want to call it start printing it from the back so start printing it from here not left to right but right to left why because this represents the direction uh, if you read it from left to right it represents direction from destination to source we have to print from source to destination not other way around that's why you would start printing from right to left okay so this is how you solve this problem if you still have any doubt or query you can ask in the comment section and again i'll be providing the link to this problem or uh, this sorry link to the problem as well as this solution in the description of the video so you are well aware i mean you are able to understand or use it as reference so uh, if you have gone through dfs on 2d grid and bfs especially bfs on 2d grid you won't be find this difficult so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching if you still have any doubt query suggestion anything uh, you would like to say you can uh, uh, you can write it down in the comment section so thank you guys for watching and until the next video drops keep coding thank you